Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. And if you like these videos, feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Welcome to season 8 of Test Noah Sire's wiki money making methods. And today's money maker is going to be a blowing unbound arms. The only requirements you need to be able to do is make that are the following. First and foremost, you will need to have at least a level 46 in your crafting skill, as you will need this to be able to blow the molten glass into unpowered orbs. Secondly, I would recommend that you have at least 200,000 coins in starting capital, as you will need this so we can buy all of the molten glass we will need to be able to do this method efficiently for one hour. So now let's go over my gear and inventory. As we are bank standing in today's video, I do not have a gear set up. For my inventory for this video, all I have is a glass blowing pipe, and for the remaining 27 slots, I have filled these with molten glass. So now let's go over some information about this method. These unpowered orbs was added into the game on the 18th of March 2002. You can craft these unpowered orbs by blowing molten glass with a glass blowing pipe. To obtain the molten glass, you can either make it or buy it directly from the Grand Exchange if you are a main account. If you are wanting to make it, then I will just list off one way on how you can do so. Firstly, you will need to have both soda ash and a bucket of sand in your inventory. And then all you need to do is use one of the ingredients on a furnace and then you will start to craft this molten glass and this molten glass will take 1.2 seconds to make which is equivalent to two game ticks but now let's go over what you can make with this molten glass molten glass is a very good way to train your crafting skill and many players may decide to train their crafting skill by blowing molten glass this is because it is a very cheap way to obtain 99 crafting and secondly it is because it is decently afk so you could easily do something else on the side if you're wanting to train your crafting skill this way, then there are many options that you can make by blowing molten glass. I'll just list them off quickly for you all. At level 1 crafting, you'll be able to make a beer glass, and this will give you 17.5 XP. When you get to level 4 crafting, you will now have access to making an empty candle lantern, and this will grant you 19 XP. With level 12 crafting, you can blow this molten glass into oil lamps, and this will grant 25 XP. When you manage to get to level 33 crafting, you will have the ability to make vials, and this will grant 35 XP. Empty fish balls is up next when you get to level 42 crafting and this will give the player 42.5 XP. And now with the one we're doing in this video which is unpowered orbs and to do this you will need to have a crafting level of 46 and you can expect 52.5 XP back from doing this. And I'm pretty sure this is the only one which will actually grant you some profit by blowing molten glass. At level 49 crafting, you can make lantern lenses and this will grant the player 55 crafting XP. And the last thing you can blow this molten glass into is at level 87 crafting and you can make empty light orbs. And this will grant the player 70 crafting XP. And after you've made all of the unpowered orbs like we have in this video, you can either sell them back to the Grand Exchange like we did, or you can keep hold of them and turn them into powered orbs. There are currently four separate orbs that you can make. The first one is air, the second one is water, the third one is earth, and the fourth and final one is fire. But do bear in mind, to do this you will need to have different levels of magic and take them to the right obelisks. But with that being said, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how much this method has earned us and then we can see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video. Only 4% of you who are watching these videos are subscribed, so if you aren't already, smash that sub button so you can be notified when new videos are going live. Hello and welcome to the final price check of making unpowered orbs and here in my event is all of the orbs we've managed to make over this one hour. So we managed to make 1808 unpowered orbs which is not too bad to be fair. So let's just bring the picture on screen so we can see how much we paid for the molten glass. So for the price we paid for this molten glass we paid 78 coins each and we'll go ahead and times that by 1808. That is the amount we managed to use. So our total investment for this video was 141,024 GP, which is not too bad. We'll go ahead now and copy that number. And then if we go ahead and open up a price check here, then we go ahead and just add in all of our unpowered orbs. So one hour of making unpowered orbs comes out to be 204,304 GP. With that being said, let's just go ahead and bang that in the calculator. So 204, 204, 304. But, and then we go ahead and take away our investment. So our investment for this video was 141,024 GP. So the amount of profit we managed to make and the amount we'll be giving away in today's video is 
only 63,280 GP, which is a bit of a letdown. Um, I feel like I probably should have got a lot more back than just 113 coins. It just all depends on when you do the method. But with that being said, let's jump on over to the spinning wheel. So we can see we'll be taking away these winnings. Hello and welcome back to the spinning wheel. We currently have 24 entries and we have one new entry from the previous video. And our newest new entry for this season is White Jackal. And now let's just go ahead and just shuffle this a few times. And then we will go ahead and spin this wheel. And today's one of all profits is going to be... It looks like it is going to be Spooky Tongs. So congratulations to you. You are today's winner of all profits, and to claim your winnings, all you have to do is message me in game. My in game name is BROSRS, it is the exact same as my YouTube name. And because this money maker was not very good, it only got us 63,280. I'm also going to give you an extra 200,000 coins on top of the amount we earned from doing this money maker. So you'll be taking away 263,280 GP. So congratulations to you. But with that being said, let's jump on over to the leaderboard so we can see where this money maker ranks if you guys want you can join my clan chat for all the latest updates and to know when new videos are going live just like this one you're watching right now welcome to the money maker leaderboard on this leaderboard i rank the money makers after i tried them and i split it into four columns the first column is for the method i was using the second column is for the money this method has earned me column three is for the order the video is ranking compared to the order i release the videos in and column four is for difficulty as if they are hard to do they will rank it as red hard and likewise if they are easy to do then i will rank it as green easy and for any other methods that fall in between both of these these will be ranked as yellow medium this is for my medium tier so as you guys can see today's money maker was glowing unpowered orbs and this netter does a profit of 63,280 gp this was quite tragic this money maker i did fully think going into to this we could definitely make around 150 to 200 coins in profit but i'm guessing it's just because of the sheer time that we did this money maker it's just not very profitable normally you can go ahead and double your entire investment into molten glass but on this time round we just got a little bit unfortunate regardless this money maker was season 8 episode 13 so we have three episodes left and as expected this money maker is ranked as easy to do the main reason is all you need is is a few hundred thousand coins and then a crafting level the crafting level is very very easy to get regardless of this today's winner was spooky tongs so congratulations to you once again and like i stated previously because the money maker was a little bit lackluster we are going to give you an extra 200 000 coins on top of the profit you earn from doing the money maker but i hope you guys have all enjoyed this money maker and if you have enjoyed please like comment and subscribe it really will help the channel grow let me know some more money makers you'd like to see on the channel in the near future i have been ben and i will catch you in the next money maker goodbye if you guys are looking around for your newest game make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest cd keys available on the internet for pretty much every game even new releases i'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out